Hi, I'd like to show you a knot that I've been using to join my linen mini skeins in my seascape scarf. Knots in your knitting? I heard that wasn't allowed. But you're the boss of your knitting and you can do whatever you want. I trust this knot to hold better than I trust those stiff linen woven ends not to unweave themselves if I try to weave them in when I'm done. So here we go. This is called a fisherman's knot or we knitters call it a magic knot. Say this green yarn is my old yarn and I want to join this new yarn to it. What I'm going to do is take my new yarn and I'm going to tie a simple overhand knot around my old yarn. Now that's not going to hold by itself. So what I need to do next is use my old yarn and tie that simple overhand knot again, but I'm using the old yarn to tie it around my new yarn. That little end wants to pop in there, but it doesn't belong in there. There we go. So now I have two knots. If I tug on each end of the new yarns, they snug right up to each other. And then I'm going to trim each of the ends off fairly close to the knot. Well, these are not the best scissors, but they're the ones I have with me. Here's the second one. Whoops, sorry. I'm going to trim that off close to the knot, but don't hit the knot. Now, I wouldn't trust that until I test it. I'm giving it a good tug. That is going to hold. This is what I'm doing in my Seascape scarf, and I am doing it about six stitches before I get to the end of the row so that the knot will end up pretty close to the end of the row. It really doesn't show. And I use this a lot in garter stitch too because it doesn't show in garter stitch either. I would not use it in stockinette. There you are. Good knitting to you.